Hezbollah pounded northern Israel with 140 rockets Friday, a day after the militant group's leader Hassan Nasrallah vowed to retaliate against Israel for a mass bombing attack, the Israeli military and the militant group said. Israel's military said the rockets came in three waves Friday afternoon targeting sites along the ravaged border with Lebanon. Hezbollah said its attacks had targeted several sites along the border with Kadiusha rockets, including multiple air defense bases as well as the headquarters of an Israeli armored brigade they said they'd struck for the first time. The Israeli military said 120 missiles were launched at areas of the Golan Heights, Saift and the Upper Galilee, some of which were intercepted. Fire crews were working to extinguish blazes caused by pieces of debris that fell to the ground in several areas, the military said. The military did not say whether any missiles had hit targets or caused any casualties. Israeli warplanes dropped flares over the Beirut sky on Thursday, shortly before breaking the sound barrier, at the same time Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah was delivering a televised speech from an undisclosed location. The planes flew low over Beirut, breaking the sound barrier with two loud booms, scattered birds and prompted people in homes and offices to quickly open windows to prevent them from shattering. Nasrallah said the mass bombing attack against Hezbollah using its communications devices was a severe blow and said Israel had crossed a red line. But he vowed the group would emerge stronger and continue its daily strikes into northern Israel. As he was making his speech, Hezbollah and the Israeli military traded new strikes over the border. Fears are rising that 11 months of exchanges of fire between the two sides will escalate into all-out war particularly after this week's unprecedented bombings, which detonated hundreds of pagers and walkie-talkies used by Hezbollah. At least 37 people were killed and some 3,000 wounded in the explosions, which appeared to be the culmination of a months-long operation by Israel to target as many Hezbollah members as possible all at once, but which also hit civilians. The attack came as Israeli leaders have warned that they could launch a stepped-up military operation against Hezbollah, saying they are determined to stop the group's fire to allow tens of thousands of Israelis to return to homes near the border.
همین الان 